what up youtube i'm back so episode two of tower of god was really good in my opinion even better than the first episode because it wasn't dragging the pace of the episode was really good in my opinion so let's get right to it man at the beginning of the episode the first thing that we saw was rachel and bam i think the same thing happened in last week's episode but maybe i'm wrong but anyway man uh, one of the things that i want to say about these two is that um their relationship is not a good relationship at all man it's not healthy at all because especially on bam's side he thinks that he belongs to rachel you know like an object or something like that you know so i really don't like their relationship at all because bam i don't think he's realizing how important he is to himself you know you have to take care of yourself in your life so uh, i really don't like that relationship at all from what i've i've seen so far from this series anyway let's go back to the test where last week's episode ended because bam had to stay alive to pass the test it was kind of hunger games like you know a lot of people were going to fight each other like a battle royale and you know bam had to stay alive and he was surrounded by people he was surrounded by a big ass crocodile you know that was kind of funny because he only wanted to fight bam and then another guy came it was this guy right there his name is kun or something like that i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right but he's gonna be one of the main characters in my opinion you know one of probably bam's best friends He's a pretty interesting character because he realized right away that the sword that Bam had wasn't his and that it was one of the princesses of the kingdom's sword, you know, so that was pretty interesting. The Black March obviously was kind of given to him by um, Yuri in the first episode, which, you know, is probably the strongest sword of the kingdom, I'm guessing. But yeah, we're going to talk about Kuhn a little bit later too in this review because there's something I think that is going to be pretty important. Then we encountered three new characters that I think are going to be awesome, you know, especially two of them. The lizard-like character is named Anag, then the other characters with the sword, his name is Hats, and then the guy with the tracksuit, his name, his name I think is Shibitsu, you know, so I really like two of these characters so far uh, in Anak and Hats because their design, I really like it, and obviously they're really strong characters. Anak, the lizard-like character, his sword is pretty nice because he can extend it, you know, and it seems like it's one of these legendary sword in in the tower of god anime so i can't wait to know more about him and then you know has it seems like he's a two sword guy you know kind of like zoro but zoro has three sword you know so i really can't wait to see more of them because they really have dope design and they seems uh, they seem really really strong so obviously at the end of the test we saw that they had to team up in teams of three so anak hats and shibitsu formed a team of three so uh, i guess the next test is gonna be about teamwork and then we also saw a uh, bam kun and the other guy that i don't remember his name the big crocodile you know they teamed up too so i really like the way that they teamed up those three because it was pretty funny one of these guys wanted to kill the other two but you know they kind of finessed him finessed finessed him you know and teamed up with him without him knowing it you know so i thought that was really really funny but yeah man some of these characters that we were introduced to in this week's episode i really like and i can't wait to follow them more you know in the tower of god story but one of the things that we learned in this week's episode is that there's test administrator you know obviously that's kind of uh needed for a test and he, one of the test administ administrator was named leho ro that was kind of hard to say but uh, yeah what, that was his name and he's one of the guys that actually went on top of the tower of gods you know that's how strong he is so i'm guessing that when you go at the top of the tower of god you can become a test administrator you know a, a rank a guy i guess that they called him you know so that's how that's how strong these guys are so Lero Ro said that there was too many people that passed the test so because of that he needed to cut some of them but the thing that i don't understand is that they decided to let pass 200 people at the beginning of last test you know they said that only 200 people would pass the test so that's kind of 
uh, the test administrators thought that they put a limit of, on how many people that could pass, you know, so that's the only thing that I think was weird. But anyway, uh, Leroro made his own test. He made a barrier of Shinsu, the power source that powers, you know, the Tower of Gods, I think. So obviously when Leroro made his test, when he made a Shinsu wall, every body was back down except for bam you know because i'm guessing bam is one of the strongest people on there but he was the only one that wasn't back down by the wall and lero called him a monster because of that you know so basically he's the, he's the strongest in the room except for lero rosso i'm guessing that he'll be able to go on the top of the tower of god but that was really really interesting maybe it was only because of the sword the black march that he has or maybe it's because of himself you know so that's really interesting to see because everybody else was back down even uh, the lizard like uh, creature or person you know i think his name was uh hacks or something like that i don't remember his name exactly but he had a special sword too so that's really interesting that bam was the only one that didn't uh, back down from the wall at first but obviously other con contestant was able to pass the wall at some point uh, Kuhn was also able to pass the wall, but something interesting happened, you know, while he was passing the wall, his suitcase uh, wasn't able to for a moment, you know, so that was kind of a weird moment that they showed, so I'm guessing that there's something with Kuhn that is different from any other people, you know, in, in the test, so I, I really want to know more about him, you know. But yeah, the last thing that I want to talk about was Bam and the question that he asked uh, Leroro because they had a bet and, you know, uh, they tied. So uh, Bam was able to ask a question to Leroro and the first thing that he asked is that if he saw, you know, a blonde girl with freckles, you know, and Leroro said no. So um, something else that uh, Bam said is that he belonged to her, you know, so that's something that I really didn't like about that moment is because it seems like he does uh, bam doesn't know the value that he has in this world you know so man uh, i really want to know more about that relationship because it doesn't seem like a good relationship man anyway uh, let me know what you thought about this week's episode in the comments down below and let me know what you think is gonna happen next i think that episode two was a better episode than episode one so i can't wait to see how good this series gets let me know what you thought about this week's episode in the comments down below. Let me know what you think is going to happen next. I do uh, Tower of Gods reviews every Wednesday, so subscribe for that. But I also do other anime-related things like Black Clover reviews on Tuesdays, One Piece reviews on Saturday nights. I do Boto Naruto Next Generation reviews on Sunday, so stay tuned for all of that. Uh, I will also do Sword Art Online, Alicization, War of Underworld Part 2 on Saturdays. It's coming back later this month, so stay tuned. It's going to be an awesome uh, uh, finale for the Alicization series and then obviously Boku no Hero Academia season 4 is done so we'll wait for season 5 I will review the series and also IQ uh, season 4 I think is coming back in July you know so I didn't review the last two episodes but I will review the rest of the season so stay tuned for all of that uh, like comment subscribe it would help my channel a lot and follow me at admin specialist on twitter and instagram thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video admin specialist out peace